Hi, I'm Joe Petro, the Director of Engineering at Infratech. The purpose of these videos is to make specifying and installing our products easier for you. Prior to installation or service of Infratech equipment, you'll need to disconnect all power at the main feed. You should also use a qualified electrician who's familiar with the National Electric Code. This video has discussed the installation and application for Infratech solid state controls. Infratech stands alone in the control market and the patio heating market by offering the widest variety of controls with the most options. Every control panel is custom built and you are listed individually specific to your project. Now that you've selected an Infratech solid state control package, we'll need to talk about the installation location for the main relay control panel and for the hardwired analog operator station. The main relay control panel is NEMA 4 rated. It's suitable for indoor and outdoor use and is completely weatherproof. Our solid state controls have external heat sinks. The solid state relays inside operate very hot and we need unrestricted ventilation to cool the relays. In a well ventilated area, you'll need at least six inches to each side and six or 12 inches above and below to allow unrestricted airflow. If you're installing the control panel in an attic, a crawl space, close to a corner, perhaps in an area with restricted ventilation, you'll need additional clearance. You may need 12 inches and a minimum of 12 or 18 above and below to allow for unrestricted circulation. Once you've selected an appropriate location for the main relay control, you'll need to select a location for the analog operator station. This can be out on the patio near the heaters, but the analog controls are only NEMA 12 rated. That means they're suitable for dust and mist, but not direct rain. You'll need to install the analog control under a solid roof or an area where it will not be exposed to direct rain. That could be behind a door on a barbecue island, it could be inside, it could be anywhere near the patio that is well protected. Now that we've selected locations for the analog control and the main relay control panel, installation is very simple. You'll need to follow the wiring diagram supplied with your control to get the exact configuration that you've ordered. Most controls are configured in a similar fashion where you will bring the main feed to the main distribution block, however many amps specified on your drawing. You'll then connect the heaters to the circuit breakers. It will show you H1, H2, H3, H4, and connect the appropriate heaters to the breakers as specified. Once the main power feed is connected and the high voltage lines to the heaters are connected, we can connect the analog control. The analog control will need one amp of 110 power. That is normally taken from a local lighting or power circuit. So you'll connect the one amp of 110 to the black and the white, and then the green for the ground. You'll then connect the 10 volt DC control signal to 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B, etc., depending on your control configuration. 1A and 1B will connect to the contact strip labeled 1A and 1B for the low voltage control input. Once all the low voltage signals are con connected, your control installation is complete and the heaters are ready to operate. Well, hopefully this video has been helpful. It's our goal at Infratech to provide the best products and the best information to make your installation a success. Should you need additional assistance, please feel free to contact Infratech.